Well, mm-hmm. the whole point of one of the videos we're filming here is I've been so surprised <laughs> about how well I'm playing. Um, final qualifying for the Open is at Dundonald this year. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around, we're going to play serious, serious golf, very serious golf. And if I can shoot on the par around Dundonald off the championship tees, then I will enter Open qualifying. <laughs> wow. I swore I would never go back, and yet here we are open qualifying now as you can see my home away from home dun donald links is hosting final qualifying for the open 2023 now if you cast your mind back only a year ago i promised that i would never play competitive golf again i am quitting professional golf or try open qualifying because it just hurt so much when I didn't get through. But I have been playing some really good golf this year, and if there was ever a chance to get through open qualifying, this year might be the year. Now, regional qualifying this year is actually happening at Barassi Golf Club, which is over yonder, over the clubhouse. It's actually right next to Dundonald Links. If you were to get through that, you would come play this course off the back tees, and you need to be shooting probably between four and six under over those two rounds to even stand a chance. So here we go, off the back tees, over 7,000 yards of pure, beautiful links. Sit back, enjoy, fingers crossed. Let's go under par and enter the open. Shot. Thank you. Absolute. Rifle that one. Boys, we're going all the way to the open. 170 middle. Pennies at the back. Don't want to go long, so I've got an A tie. 165 carry normally, David, so. Well, I didn't catch it fully. Go, 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 go. Oh. Front right, it's on the green. The green and reg, it's also the hardest put in golf. What are we thinking, David? It's up hill, Pete. It's up hill. Uh, what do you want done with the pin? Uh, leave it in for me, mate, please. Okay. I think with this distance, just about seeing the flag. Right to left up the hill. Now I've been putting really well. Go on then. Yeah, great putt. Pretty good. Left me one of them. When I get to open qualifying, it's these putts which have scuppered me in the past. This is just a right edge. Good confident stroke. It's what we want. <laughs> it's a par. It's a par though. We started with a par. <laughs> 390 around the corner. David, talk us through it. There's a fairway out there. Yeah. You've got a driver in your hand. Yeah. I say, um, let instinct take over and give it a bath. Okay. Read that CV. All right, line is basically the bunker in the background. So it cuts the touch. Wind's into a little, but relatively calm morning. Just avoid it. That's it. It's okay, it's just held up on the slope above that bunker. Not actually a bad angle in. Bit of a funky lie, but so far we've staying out of trouble. What have we got, David? 142 pin. 142 pin. It's 135 middle. So 142 is like a perfect wedge. Wind's not overly strong. I you think wedge or just like a chippy nine? I like wedge. I like wedge. I feel like you're warming to the roll as we go along. Go on, man. Oh, be good. Go. Shot. That was the right choice, Caddy. Hold on, mate. Me and you. <laughs> Going all the way to Hoy Lake. It's uphill, so I think it'll hold the break. I mean, I'm looking just outside left edge. Just outside left, good pace? Yeah. David has caddied for thousands of people at the home of golf on the east coast of Scotland. Now he's bringing his wisdom here. Trust the man. I think I just pulled it a touch. I think it just came off a little bit left. Finished behind the hole, so. Now listen, it's a, 
No par. dramas, par five coming up. Yeah, it's the only problem around this course is it's hard. Like you don't get that many birdie opportunities. So you've got to take them when you can, but you are right, par five next, 16 to go. How far to the bunker on the left? Uh, it's 290 bunker on the left. So that's issue with this fairway is that if you hit a little bit of a cut, it all kicks down to the water hazard. The ideal shot is to draw back into the fairway, a shot which I'm not famed for. Other option is to aim for that bunker, try and clear it with a straight shot or hit the tiniest of cuts. I think that's probably the safer play, David. I like it. Another big bash. Yeah. Tell you what, does anyone else really want? This is gorgeous. Yeah. Carry it then. Fly. Carry it. Yes, I've done it. A little 300 through the air carry, I'll take that. That really opens the green up as well now. What a team. What a team. Ant and deck, hole and oats, soap and water. But then what else you got? Bubble and squeak, ham and egg, chip and sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, by the way, something which is also probably a little bit different than open qualifying. David is driving the buggy. I'm walking to try and simulate opening additions a little bit more. We also have the mule here for all the camera equipment, which Kieran and Jacob are in. So it is a slight difference. It's also beautiful. If, if, it, if it's like this on open qualifying, definitely going to be on the par. <laughs> uh, two, four, three, pin. We should be okay to get a, get a hybrid. Ooh, let's have a look at that. It's right at the end of it. So, this hybrid is going to be flying about 230. However, from that lie, it's going to come out with a little bit of a knuckleball flight. Pin is center, so I've got a little bit of room to play with. If I hit a hybrid, get a little bit steep on it, try and weave it up the front of that green. It should have a bit of chase out of this lie. Quite a bit of room left of the pin. I think that's the miss. Short bunker right, uh, bunker front's not awful. Just weave it in through that gap. To settle. Yeah, it's all right, short right of the green. Nothing like what I had intended. Didn't really come out that well, that David, but it's okay. It's no dramas, mate, no dramas. Just don't want to let him down. Down the slope, left to right at the end. I just need to hit a shot that's gonna release a little bit on the first bounce. So I've got a 60 degree, I need to pitch this about three yards on. It's gonna run around to the left, and as it goes down that slope, Going to move to the right and we did have a round last night here didn't film it and i played potentially one of the best pitch shots i've ever hit so i'm going to let that fuel me here oh wow what a firm bounce that was i almost heard that bounce i mean it was a bit over here thank you dave it was a bit over here but i've got to be honest I I don't know what people have been like complaining about weather on the west coast of Scotland. Every time we've been here, it's been beautiful. Not usually this beautiful and still, but beautiful. For all the world, it looks like there it's going to break left to right. I actually think of the hole, that might break a little right to left. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be too much in it overall. Over the course of it, pretty straight. Yeah. Well, it gets very serious in open qualifying. You can't like chat through and relax. So if we do go on the par today, that's something to remember. David, your first instinct was right there, mate. I mean, it's, it, it started out outside right edge, so it must have come off a little bit right or moved a bit right anyway. It's okay though, I mean, we're ticking along with the pars. It's got a tough par three, another par five, and then there's no like easy birdie opportunities until 11, <laughs> which I seem to birdie every time. So 215 yards. So I'm thinking of five iron. The wind feels like it's slightly down off the right, helping if anything, not a lot, but green's in a little like depression to the right. There's a five iron, middle of the green, and then if it cuts, great. Slightly short, good, don't wanna go long. So I think five iron's the play. Good club choice. Please be good. Please be good. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Please be good. Go. Oh. You know what, I think 
I, I talked myself into that club after last night and the wind was definitely a bit stronger. Because I've, I've, I've absolutely pured that. So it's a five iron, it's gone like two, 206 maybe to get to that point. It looked really good, the strike was great. I mean, there's no danger at the front of the green. That's the, the positive. Here's the issue, is that like the way I play golf and the way you play golf are very different. I would put this every day of the week. This is a putt. Okay, maybe we're not so different. No, no. I think on a, a shot like this, on a Lynx course, there's really no advantage of kind of having a chip here. Well, the reason I thought that was like all of this grass around the fringe, does that not just, is that not a bit too bobbly for you? No, no, it's absolutely fine, mate. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Right. The thing is, all I'm going to be doing if I, it's just going to be a chip and run where I try and land it on the green late roll, or I'm just accounting for six foot of fairway. Fine, this is the right club. David, instincts, trust them. I believe in you. All I need you to do is believe in yourself. That's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, great putt. Should never really be. You should never be annoyed with putts like that because it's a good putt. But when you have the line, oh, <laughs> the line was so good. Difficult par three, navigated, level par. What a consistent golf so far. You love Nick Valdo, don't you? you you'd, Huge fan. You'd absolutely lose your mind if we were at 18 pars, wouldn't you? Yeah, like is it? But we wouldn't, we wouldn't be entering open qualifying if we did that. Level pars aren't going to do it around here. No, but if you, if you were Nick Fowl, though, you'd already be in the open. I think one of the reasons I've got, like, open fever, like we're filming this just before the US PGA, look at the uh, Todd Schneider Special Edition. Very nice indeed. Uh, David, what are we going with? Uh, driver, the only... My guy. The only thing is that bunker out on the left-hand side, but that's, like... Just over 275 carry. You've been hitting this really well today, so. So if I give it a blast, I should be able to. Yeah. Should be able to carry that. I mean, it's a birdie chance here. A good drive will allow us to go at the green in two, even though it is 560. It's just a hell of a green. <laughs> it's absolutely mad, this green. So I'm thinking if we aim, rather surprisingly, David, dead center of the fairway. Um, if it draws a little, that's fine. Line is, there's like a gorse bush in the distance. It's got a white marker in it. Mm. That line with a touch of a draw is perfect. Not that far. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think that's so hooky. It's going to actually be absolutely fine. That's going to be like up the ninth. Oh, we are not going for the green. All the things like the, the boys are going to be playing against if we do get through to this stage, if we shoot on the par here, when no pressure's on. Is when the pressure on is on, that's when they perform. Like the green is there. Memory serves me right. It's quite a long way left, isn't it? Oh yeah, I can see it there. It's 260 pin out of that lie. It's just not worth it. So I'm going to hit like a seven iron. That gorse, not, well, this gorse bush, second gorse bush there. And that'll kick us down into the middle of the fairway. That sound okay, David? Sounds good to me. Lies okay, not awful. I have to trust on my wedges. That's okay. Ah, oh, that's all right. It's just these par fives, man. Really got to take advantage of them. That's the thing, like recently, one of the reasons we're doing this round as a bit of a test is actually I've been playing like really well. I think I've shot last five rounds. I think maybe one of them has been over par. I think the rest have been under. So I'll keep it up though, anyway. Keep it up when the pressure's up. Go on. So is it to the pin, sorry, mate? 118 pin, 109 middle. Is that backstop at the um, at the back? Yeah, <laughs> there's a backstop at the back. Uh, so you can be nice and aggressive with this one. And that pin's going to be at the bottom of that little slope, isn't it? Yeah. So if you pitch it short, it might actually scoot on a fair bit. Yeah. So if I go hard with a, a 54, that's kind of like the number, or I could try and be a little bit safer with like a little 50, which will fly it further back, but I'm not sure it'll have the spin. I think option one. Yeah, a little bit more full on it. Yeah.
Oh, that's sat down at the front. That's it? Yeah. Oh, it's nowhere near actually, is it? Should have used the backstop. Should have used the extra club. They're already at it. They're already at trying to get rid of David. He's not a proper caddy. He's never won a major. Don't listen to the noise, David. This to, is me, a... to be fair, I actually didn't hear the chat until you just told me that now, so <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, the press speculation is rife. Who's going to replace you? You've not even done six holes yet. All right. <laughs> Hashtag bring in Mick. I'm thinking this has almost got to go over the slope just yeah. to the right of the green cut mark there. Like literally up here, it's going to be breaking a little bit right to left, broaching the slope round here, down that way. It's all going to move that way. You think it's going to move as much as that? So it's, once you get over the slope, it's still left to right. So it's left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right, and then down, left to right. I'm feeling pretty confident. Why? What are you thinking though? Um, I actually think when you get close to the flag, it stops breaking quite as much. Right, okay. But I mean, I think we agree on like the general shape of it. And I think, let's be honest, it's more about giving yourself a tap in than anything else. So I, I trust that if, yeah. you, if that's the put that you see. Yeah, I'm, I see what you mean though. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a foot off it. Pushed it. Pushed it, taught myself out of it. We're uphill, just inside right. Oh! oh so annoying. Try so hard not to swear. That is a horrible pin. I don't know. What are we on? Uh, 174. Wind's like. definitely helping, breath of it. 165 is a time. This is not a pin that you want to be messing around with. As soon as it gets past the left of the pin, it kind of all runs down to a water hazard. So my line is, yeah, just dead center where the uh, turbine is in the background, basically there. Because it all feeds, there's a little slope there as well, isn't there? And it kind of helps feed the ball to the left. That's actually a really good park by Jacob there. Give me like the perfect mm. thing to aim at in the background. Don't think you're allowed to do that in open qualifying either. Like you can't go out and ask someone to kind of park or stand in a certain position. Well, I literally couldn't have landed that anymore on where I was aiming. Mm. That's a bit more like it. Like honestly, like that's what I've been. That's what I've been playing like. I've been really. Really good. We got this hammock here. You're allowed to call out to random members of the gallery, aren't you? You, hey, you there, blue hoodie. Got this, yes? Yes, of course you have. Or has he started doing aim point? Start, I've, I've started. Right. What, mid round? Yeah, well, I can't trust my eyes, I can't trust yours. So I'm gonna start trusting my fingers and my feet. Okay. I'm using everything. Right, I mean, pin eye. Final quality ball striking, thank you very much. I mean, I have left myself a very tricky ball. It's right to left. This is kind of like the slope here that moves the ball down and towards the pin. Just trust yourself here, Pete, come on. Wow, such a swing on that. Wow, I tried to get that so far out right. Listen, it is a tricky par three. Mm. You are like, it's weird, like, where you're standing there, Kieran, and you are probably a foot and a half above the level of the hole. A huge little knob in the green. <laughs> <laughs> it is a different hole off here. One advantage of this shot though, so this green is like notoriously firm. It's got a massive bank at the front. I want to be a little bit further back. I want to be hitting like an eight iron in. What's the bunker in the background, David? Is that the one on the left or the right? Yeah, uh, the right. Uh, I get that, three or four. Three or four. Yeah. So I think that's the line with the three wood. Opens up the fairway, opens up the green. Nothing crazy here. Oh, pulled it. Oh, I don't know. It's gonna be in the rough, I think. All that fairway, right? Come on, having a bit of a, a low patch mentally here, David. Tell me a joke, pick me up. Tell you a joke? Yeah. No. <laughs> one, five, six center. Yeah, one, five, four pin. Wind is off the right. It's gotta go in high, bit of an interesting line. Um, thinking a nine iron? That's one, five, five, so like the numbers bang on. Yeah. 
it might yeah it might send up in there a bit it's more to be honest like green wise here just such a hard green to like get the ball close and there's this massive false front which isn't that fun to chip from but it's all right like nine 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 please squire thank you so much the ball is on a down slope and my feet are on an up slope how's that work got like a ridge <laughs> running directly through the middle Got a wind. Just nudge it. Long right. Well, um, it's kind of hit the middle back right of the green and shot to the right into what I believe is some pretty gnarly rough. Loose here, David. I'm not tight with my dispersion and swing. Wow, that's some thick doo doo. Jesus. Well, this is Lynx Golf, this is the Open. It's one of those tricky ones because it's obviously sat down in the rough, but I think it's got a little bit of clearance underneath to the actual ground. So we've got to be careful to not go underneath this. So I've got to almost play a, a splash bunker shot. Try and land it on the front of the green, just let it roll down to the pin. Ball has literally not moved. Wow, did you just cut underneath it? Yeah, that was always the danger, and it's now gone like to the bottom of the divot. Club just stopped, like going through the ball. Oh, wow, right. That's this lie. I have to try and pitch it more into the upslope. Jesus. Oh, Ed's gone. Look at that lie. Sent to test you. Is it still the same club pick? Um, yeah. You don't want to reset and take something else? No, I mean, it's still got to like hit it. It's got to go be into the bank and then bounce it. So, don't really matter. 54, 60, same difference. Uh, all right. This is like being in the open. Right, so, what are we on? Three, four, five. Up and down for seven. So bad. Oh, so bad. Well, whatever happens, it's gonna have to be a absolutely bloody incredible last 12 holes oh just whatever damn. you do just take your time on this one i think you're still a little bit full tilt full tilt yeah what, two more par fives which you've played well in the past you've got the 11th hole that you seem to birdie oh yeah you might already. as well be down for a birdie there anyway but yeah basically right edge just gonna move a little bit left cool that's what i see as well Great putt. Wow. Great putt. Best seven you're ever going to see. It was a seven, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, man. I now fully remember why I dislike competitive golf. Because it just sometimes makes me want to punch myself in the face repeatedly. And then ask other people to do it as well. Listen, it's got iron in the background. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Mm. But right now, I could take a flamethrower to it and then put myself in the middle. I'm so glad I'm on your bag today. So, I've got the rangefinder in my pocket, but I don't think that's really necessary. Just, uh, no. what's your target line that you're gonna... Uh, target line is the, there's a white building in the background. I would like the pole on. The one next to the green? Yeah, I wanna finish it on that. Right. Oh my God. Down the middle. That was a rip. Oh, the advantage of a seven. Like, next drive guaranteed to be 340 yards. Oh, it's all right. Let it go. Let it go. It's just golf. It's just golf. It's what it does to you. It's just golf. All right. 104. Just a nice 54 degree wedge, really. Nothing too complicated. Um, Wind feels pretty low down here. I know it's off the left, but I'm just gonna pretend it's not even here. Straight at it. 
That'll be good. Wow, spin on that. Yeah. Well, good shot. Good shot, yeah. Good leave. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Here's your putter if you want it. Yeah, I'll have a walk. I still need to have a, a good conversation with myself. I tell you what, this is just really, really smart play from you because this is going to be one hell of a YouTube video when you bring this back to even. Stuff really, I mean, we saw from like, I mean, there's a lot of spin on that, but the amount that it rolled back, it's very yeah, uphill as well. Uphill, yeah. So you just hold it a little bit, but nice committed stroke like the last putt you made. Took an absolute crap storm of golf to get David like committed to this. I feel like he's turned a bit of a new leaf. It. He's like, all right, I'm into this now. Now the struggle is real. Like he's into it. When good times are good, David. Yeah. Like you're just there, you're just enjoying the ride, but when bad times come, you're the man to go to. Thank you. When this goes in, I'm switching off again. Okay, thanks. I've got a, we've got a long way to go if this goes in. Up the hill, off the left. Oh, it's broke a lot, that. Depends, really. I think you've had a bit, a bit firmer. I, yeah, I think that was pace. I think you had yeah. the line. Had the line, just needed a bit, a bit more up that hill to par, but don't need pars right now. I need birdies and an absolute ton of them. 420 yards. Normally, like we normally play off the blues, just like a three wood, but I'm thinking driver today. Get us down there, a little flicky wedge. What line is it then? Uh, line is, so the, the green and the pin is where the big uh, pylon is to the right hand side, the big turbine. Line is just to the right of the middle fairway bunker there. All right, okay, so almost over that little golf course. Yeah, just let it peel. Okay. Goal shot. Like that. I'll do. So we'll just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just shout my name. Right. Yeah, I think a couple of the caddies just gave you a wave. Oh, right, okay. That's fine. That's I can fine. do you a swap if you want. No, that's fine. I just, I do know when you, I feel I've reached, certainly on like the last hole, almost like peak mania. I just make sure the voices haven't come back. But, <laughs> okay. We're okay. 103 pin. Well, listen, last shot was 54 degree 101, was it? Slightly down. So it's just a 54 again. Nothing special, just a solid one. All right. 104, same shot as the last hole, David. It's okay. I have hit that. Unbelievable. That was that's literally that's my best strike of the day so far. I absolutely hit that. David, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'm not, you know, I'm not even that angry. For such a poor wedge shot, I'm all right. All right. Just a gentle left to right, all the way down the slope. It's literally the same angle as that pitch as well. Visualize that. Turn, turn, turn. Good pace. That's yeah, okay. Outside chance for a birdie. Right, scorecard up. We turn in four over par. And David, you are right, it's four over par. It's obviously a long way away from where we need to be, but it's like one stinky hole. Mm. One stinky hole, and it was really caused by obviously those chip shots, but one stinky bounce. Like other than that, we're actually not playing too badly, but we're just gonna have birdies. I need to put myself in more chances, more situations, two par fives on the back, a couple of par fours, which are birdieable, but I need your support. Wallop that like button. Let me feel the love from across the world. Need a bit of boost. Like one of the reasons that I've not set my target like quite a long way under par is this course off the backs and if the wind was a little bit higher, it's tough. We've got a 470 par four here. Off the, I mean, we've got like 30 yards difference to the next tees that we normally play. I like usually am hitting a hybrid, long iron off here. Now it's a driver. The line is literally on the edge of the fairway to the left. Don't want to go too far right, there's a couple of nasty bunkers. Good drive away though. Lucky. Might be one of the bunkers. Yeah, big kick right, then it? it was moving that way, but uh 54 plays with. Do. Yeah, good from there. That'll do. Rely on my wedge play. 
No, I mean, caffeine would be absolutely fantastic now, but you know, when you're a high performance athlete like me, it, you just need the adrenaline. That's what you really need. That seven definitely took it out of me. I definitely felt a lot more sleepy after that haul. Up and down, birdie, 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 birdie. And then we're good. Just need to hit a three quarter 54 this time, but just strike it like I done last off. That'd be absolutely prime. Trying to get going now, man. Pretty good, I think. I mean, that was some shot. To be honest, my wedges, I, I can't believe how well that I'm actually hitting them. Something else that I can't believe is that only about 50% of you watching this video are currently subscribed to the channel. Now we are on a quest to get it up to 600,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so it would be fantastic if you join the community. Also, the guys have been really stepping up the editing and filming game. And if you like what you see here, wallop that like button as well. Great, great shot. Never get that from Jacob. Okay, all right, for a par. Yeah, about four foot left to right. Wow, I will take that for an up and down. That might just be a little bit of a little bit of a touch paper moment. I've got a hundred yard shot now, I can trust. Put felt comfortable. I, I know it's it's not the thing is like this isn't even. It's not like a proper competition. Obviously, it's goal related golf. But like just the, the extra pressure that you feel when you've got something like on the line. It's just so different. And like in some respects, when you play competition golf, you play well, you win an event or you have a great finish. There is no better feeling. There's no better feeling in golf. It really is incredible. But when you struggle a little bit and you feel like the game's slipping away, oh, it's just, just soul destroying. It's why competition golf is so amazing because it really does put you right on the edge, but it's also so hard because it's just painful at times like emotionally painful that's kind of it's kind of why i stopped playing it was just too you know, too much effort too much heartache crazy isn't it such a stupid game 120 yards middle pretty much the same like 119 to the pin wind's kind of into off the left i'm thinking pitching wedge just left of the hole tiny bit of fade behind the pin spin it back holding one forget open qualifying get into worthing have a mental day wake up tomorrow and wonder what will happen Spin right. Be good. Spin right. Go. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, this it, it is weird, isn't it? Like some holes you just you stand on and you feel so comfortable. I, I just don't see anything other than a birdie when I step on this hole, and that's such a great like feeling to have. There's other holes on this course where I don't quite feel the same. <laughs> Come on, you got this, man. You know the line. You know what you're doing. Attack. Yes. Great putt, mate. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What just, what, what the hell just happened? You just exclaimed, David. This is exceptional. Love it. <laughs> yes, David. <laughs> Mentally never heard that. Amazing. Love it. Yes. yes. <laughs> Big fairway and loads of room to the right, so. Ah, oh, shot. How are you? Golf shot. Golf shot. Go on, Just over there, isn't it, Brassy? Yeah, so I'd have to basically get through there to get to here. But unless I can shoot a good score here, there's no point going over there. Thus, he's completed the circle of golf line. 88 yards. Pin is towards the back. I've got my 54 degree again, so I'm just going to three-quarter it into the wind. Just get it pitching up around that flag. Come on. Attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Stop spinning. Oh, just needed a bit more pump to get it all the way back. Decent strike again. A lot of spin. New wedges, you see. Up hill put for bird. Error on my part there, David, I'm sorry. It's quite a lot of room after that pin. I kind of let it in my head, it was near the back. We just like laid off at a touch. It won't happen again. I mean, it looks like a hair left to right from 
this side. It's not a lot in it, is I don't, it? I don't, I don't see tons in it. Well, what do you see? Pretty straight. Like, it's kind of like just straight up the middle of the green. You know what, David? Yeah. Straight up the middle of the green. Pete, attack El Horrifico. Uh, three wood, I think, though. Like, that, is the, that is possibly the worst pin on this green. It's almost impossible to get close to. Oh, I want to hit a hybrid. I want to hit a hybrid kind of like down there, leave myself a full club in, but with that pin being there, need a wedge in my hands because I need that control. So it's just a three wood down the left, let it fade. Come on, man. You've got birdies. Birdies on the brain. No oh my way. God. Oh my God. Did you catch that? Please tell me you got that. It bounced off. The railway track and back into bound. Onto the wall, off the wall, across the rough, and in, like into the first cut, I it, think. It's in the fairway. It's in the middle of the fairway. It's in the fairway? Yeah. Literally in the middle of the fairway. Time I, to steal a bird. I don't know. Right? <laughs> Sometimes things just work out in your favor. Wow. So a 156 pin, it's up on that back tier. Uh, I don't really know the slope of this green, so. Uh, I've got to like hit. So 156 is a nine iron, but it's downwind. If I hit that, it's going to be over the back. I've got to hit a wedge, hit it hard, and to be honest, just hope that it gets on top and stays on top. Like there's no point in landing it short, trying to run it up, the slope's too severe. Hope it gets up there. Fingers crossed, everybody. All I need, like, and all I really want is just a bit of luck on this hole. It's not a lot to ask, is it? Right. Oh, come on. Be good. Oh my God. What a shot. <laughs> well, that turned out. <laughs> if you steal a birdie on this hole. Oh, mate, it's, it's just guaranteed, isn't it? It's absolutely guaranteed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little bit annoyed it didn't spin back because it's quite a big slope behind the pin there. No, look, at all. We're even pointing this one. Yeah, because it's there's a bit of funky stuff going on here. Yeah, I can't really tell what it's doing for the first third of it, but it almost looks like left edge from yeah. this side. Yeah, right at the end, it's just going to move that way, isn't it? Yeah. Downhill. This will just be birdie of absolutely legendary status, this. Oh. Move so far left to begin with. That would have been one hell of a birdie. <laughs> Damn! I'm not actually expected this ball yet. Oh wow, it's got some marks on it. But we're sticking with it. How can you not stick with this ball? Oh, this is going to get full treatment. Full send. Back tees here. 550 yards, par five. Little valley of a fairway, but it's quite tight. Hit the fairway, bounds down, miss it, and it just stops. <sighs> Dog a leg up to the right. Wow. Great hit. Wow, how is this gonna yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. Pitch on the down slope. No sand in there. Probably can't say that actually. Oh, just bounced on me. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, it's all right. We are longer than we wanted for a birdie. Just bounced. What are you seeing? Yeah, it's going to break a little bit left to right at the end as it goes over that mound. Yeah, more than that, Pete. Ah, that's a birdie chance, that hole as well. Disappointing par. Very disappointing par. Ah, oh, not ideal when you're chasing a score. Uh, what are you thinking? I, stick? I normally, it's just, that'll be a really solid four, but it's definitely into win. It might even be a hybrid, to be honest, mate. Just feather it up there. Long and right's fine. There's a slope that'll bring it back. 
Come on, lucky ball. I need you again. Oh, sit down. Again. Just to the right of the green. Oh, just too much. Bloody hell. This is one hell of a hole off the back. 220. 220 back into wind. Wow. What you got, Pete? We are a long way away from the hole. Um, like 30, 40, 35, 40 foot up the hill. It's going to break right to left once it gets over the second slope. Got a first slope to go up as well. This is an absolute brute of a hole. I will take a three on here every day of the week. Maybe better, maybe better. Oh, great putt. Wow. Just ran out of pace. Left pair now, what a hole, what a view. Aaron, completely free of clouds. You don't get that, get, you don't get that very often. Well, it's a very good par, however, pars are not what we need. We've got three holes to go, and we need birdies, and potentially an eagle. It all depends if we can get it past that bunker in the middle of the fairway. You get it past that, it'll hit a down slope and it'll go. You are right though, it's the first time maybe played this hole when it hasn't been super strong into. Right, come on. A nice straight launch. Stay short that second. Pretty good. Slightly pushed, but again, struck it all right. This driver, so accurate. Not quite as long, but gets it out there. See, I want to wait a six, but I think the wind's going to hold it up a little bit more. So it's 170 front. I think solid six iron. Just don't want to be long left. That's the problem here. Long left is not the play. Strike a six. Best six iron you strike in your life, mate. That is not it. Ah. Oh. I'm thinking 54, because if they pitch it at the front, just release up that bank a little bit. Just let it go. Don't need to try and spin it. Just let it release. About there. Oh, wow. I just started to turn to the left, that. At least I pitched it where I wanted to. Yep. Nice change. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Definitely off the left. Very, mm, maybe slightly more. And then the 10th, just a little. I'll leave it on that left edge and then let it move. Not a, not a particular length I wanted this time in the proceedings. Wow. Yes. <laughs> if I can leave myself fewer of those, David, that'd be great. But it basically does mean I need to birdie eagle finish. Or par albatross. Or birdie albatross. Or eagle albatross. Any of those, I guess. Go on, David, talk to us. What am I doing? Dog leg left, according to this. Yep. Two, three, six. To cover the um, the furthest bunker of those two. Okay. If I want to cover that, it's got to be bang over the middle. If it's bang over the middle, that's fine. But if I push it slightly to the right of them, there's more bunkers waiting. So this is going to have to be literally the best drive of the day. Right over the middle of them. I'm not sure I've played off this tee before. 440. Drive your life here. One more, one more drive of a life. Oh, there's a man with a dog over there. Well, I couldn't have hit it any better. I think, I think that's amazing. I think. But I've been wrong before today. So as long as there's not one of those bushes there, I think we're on, I think we're on the money there, cutting the corner. That is annoying. Stay. Stay. Oh, sit down. Man. Wind just kicked up then. It's tough in that wind, yeah. It's very, uh, very strong off the right. Spin out? Uh, yeah, I can do, mate. Thank you. Downhill, left to right. How much break are you reading on this? It's left to right, moving that way. Probably seeing just, uh, just under a foot. Okay. Yeah, it just depends how much the wind's going to move it. It's getting up a bit, but okay. No, I can see that just outside that one. Just 
Wow, hit it harder. Hit the ball harder. There's attacking. And then there's just being attacked mentally by the voices. <laughs> ah, well. That was a bogey. Right when we didn't want it, wasn't it? Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Ah. Unless I have a hole in one here, we ain't going to be entering, but it's obviously very disappointing. But at the same time, I think if, even if we par this, let's say we do par it, or we birdie it with four or three, like off the back tees around this course, that's still like a decent score. Mm. I think it shows like... I think your game's definitely there. It, it's, like, obviously, we've had one awful hole. Like it shows, I think, just like levels of difference. Like, mm. like I think like a, lot of, a lot of the guys I've played with, like good players, you know, trying to get in the open, off merit as well, you know, four under around here today isn't out of the realms of possibility. So with par five, so we're not birdies the par five. That's stinky. We bogeyed one of them. Oh, you've got the chance to put that right. That's right, positive David. We have. <laughs> uh, but I mean, yeah, it, it just leaked out of me. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it shows again, just like one incredible course, like done Donald this for a start as well. But it's just an amazing place, and just so every time we get around it, I'm so lucky to be. Kind of have a home here like yeah metaphorically speaking don't yet have a home here so if you have enjoyed it make sure that you like the button wall that subscribe button as well give us some positivity i might have an only one that's huge oh yes there wasn't a lot left behind <laughs> that one david no. there's a little bit of uh <laughs> A little bit of lost hope in that drive. If you ever need extra energy, tap into your lost hope synapses. That'll power it through a bit. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. Wind off the left, that, yeah. That sound right. Yeah. yeah. So we've got 240 center. A little bit too far for a four iron. Kind of feel I need to like slice in a hybrid and almost get it running. Like, like the green is so big and so long from left to right. I think if I slice in a hybrid, get it pitching left of the hole, and then hopefully just get it shoveling that way, because that pin's like back right. That is a stinky pin. Oh, I have this shot in my locker. It's basically the shot tries to work the par three. Oh, go. Right of the green, right enough to be okay. Not left enough to be good. I just tried, that was a very awkward shot that, like to get that close with the wind in this direction, I'd have had to have been hitting an iron in or literally like landing that perfect. Definitely not the place to leave myself either. Over the water, tight pin. Got to kind of nip this off the top. Got to let that club release through. This is not one to get steep on. Yeah, that's probably yeah, about as, shot from there. Probably about as well as I could do from there, I think. Come on, Dave, let's finish with a birdie. Let's finish with a thumbs up, thanks, mate. Let's finish with a beautiful little hole out. Well, kind of sums up the day a little bit. <laughs> Final scorecard, we are four over par, one bogey, one triple, one birdie. Apart from that, just Nick Faldo Golf, mate. Everything that you wanted to see. You're welcome.